Okay, so now that we have our PCs configured with IPv6 addressing, we can now focus on the routers. And you can see here in the instructions, we're at number two, and it says on all routers configure the following, the host name. And this includes the ISP router over here. So we'll have to configure host names on all the routers. We're gonna to need to enable IPv6 routing. We're going to have to configure all of the interfaces with the suggested IPv6 link local addresses and global unicast IPv6 addresses. And then it says, see the topology diagram. So we'll look at the diagram to figure out the addressing. And then we have some serial interfaces here on the routers and the DCE interfaces will need a clock rate of 128,000. So our, on R1, for instance, we'll do that one first. You can see that serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 points towards R2 and it has a clock on it. So that's our DCE interface right here on serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Now for our addressing, on R1 it's pretty easy. The link local addresses on all three interfaces, the gigabit interface and the two serials, it'll get an FE80 colon colon 1 link local address on all of the interfaces. And you might ask yourself, how come you can put the same address on all three interfaces? Well, the link local address is only significant on the local link. So you can use the same address. They don't need to be um, unique on all three. It just needs to be unique on that particular link or in that local network. So we can use um, colon, colon, uh, colon one, basically, on, on all three interfaces for um, the link local address. Now, the global unicast address is a little bit different. We're going to use colon one or host one for the LAN over here. And we're gonna use the first address colon one for this network in between R1 and R2. And then for the network that goes in between um, R1 and the ISP router, the ISP is the first address colon one and R1 will be colon two will be the second address. And you can see these three networks, the network address is right here and right here and right here. So let's configure it and get started. So I'm going to click on R1. I'll stretch out the window so we can see the configurations nice and clearly. And I'll go to the command line interface, type enable to get to privileged user mode, and then conf t to get to global config mode. And we'll start by setting the host name to R1. So we have that finished. Now I'm in global configuration mode, and I'm also, once I've set the host name to R1, I need to enable the IPv6 routing protocol. So I'll type IPv6 UNI, and then I'll hit the tab key on my keyboard for um, command completion, and you can see it completes the command for me. So the command is IPv6 unicast routing, and that enables the IPv6 routing protocol. Um, or IPv6 protocol on the router and so now we can configure IPv6 addresses and the router will route IPv6. Okay so now we need to configure our interfaces. We'll start with interface gigabit 0 slash 0 and we'll start with let's see IPv6 address and we'll start with the FE80 colon colon 1 and then link dash local. And that sets the link local address on the gigabit interface. Now I'll just do an up arrow on my keyboard and hit the backspace. And now let's give it the global unicast address. The global unicast address will be 2001 colon db8 colon da and colon one. This is the first subnet and colon colon one he'll be the first address in the first subnet and we need to also give the network prefix length so slash 64. so that sets the two addresses the two ipv6 addresses that you're going to need on the interface you need your link local address and you need your global unicast routable address right here now all i have to do is type no shut and the interface should be up Let's configure the rest of our interfaces. So now what I'll do is I'll just do up arrow on my keyboard 
and this time we'll do interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Now this is the interface that points towards router R2. So I'm just going to do up arrow. Remember I said it gets the same link local address, so all I need to do is do that, and put that in again, and then for the global unicast address, it's going to be 2001 db8 colon da colon, and this will be the 2 subnet, and it's also going to be the first address in the 2 subnet, so just hit enter, and then no shut, and that brings up the interface. Now, once again, I've got the right subnets here, subnet 1 and subnet 2, but I forgot something. On this second subnet on this interface, we need the clock rate on the interface. So I'll bring this back up, and while I'm still in the interface, I'll just type clock rate 128.000, and now I'm done with that interface. So now let's talk about the other interface. Now the other interface is slightly different because the subnet has a different addressing scheme. It's 2001db8cd1c and it's going to be host number 2. So cd1c host number 2. So what I'll do is I'll do up arrow till I get to interface, switch over to 1. Now I'm in serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we're going to give it the same link local address but for the global unicast address it is cd1 colon c is it cd1 colon c and host number 2 so 2001 db8 cd1 colon c colon colon 2 and that should be the right address no shut Okay, and you can see that when we activated both of these serial interfaces, they both changed state to down, right? They're not up. We said no shut, turn them on, but they're still in the down state, and that's because the neighboring router on the other end of the link, the interface is shut down. So these interfaces won't come up until the neighboring router brings up their interface so that uh, both interfaces are up. So they're physically, these interfaces are physically up, but they're logically down. So, um, so we have some more configuring to do. Now, this router, before I leave, is also going to need something, and I might as well just jump ahead and do it now. This router is going to need, let's see here, on R1, configure an IPv6 default route out of the serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 interface. So I'm going to do that right now. IPv6 route colon colon slash 0. This is the equivalent of a quad 0 route in IPv4. Colon colon meaning all zeros slash 0 for a 0 network prefix length. So this will match all routes. So this will be a default route out of serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, so out of that interface. All right, so now I have a default route. And the last thing, the only thing I'm missing is my rip commands that I need to set up on the router. And I also want to propagate that default route. So I could jump ahead, and before I'm even done with R2 and R3, and I could say, all right, on R1 and R2, enable rip ng on each interface except R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. So we could jump ahead. I already did. I jumped ahead to step 4 and set up the default route. If I wanted to, I could set up the um, routing protocol right now on step 3 as well. 